KFAN's hugely popular Power Trip Morning Show suddenly pulled the plug last week. All right, guys, listen, everything is completely fine. We love you, but we got to go. We'll be back as soon as we possibly can. The next day, the show returned to the air with an explanation. We are officially in, in COVID land on the Power Trip Morning Show. Without the studio. If we sound odd to you, that's because we're in quarantine, and we're in quarantine because Zach has coronavirus. Zach Halverson is a producer for the show, and nearly a week later, his COVID fight continues. How are you doing today? I've taken some big strides. From the hospital. They uh, took me off oxygen this morning, um, so... That's the first time I've been breathing on my own in uh, five days, making progress, and uh, it, it's it's looking like that uh, I could even be out of here uh, by the evening, depending on how things go. But he's not celebrating yet. He and his parents all began feeling minor symptoms a couple weeks ago, and by the time their test results came back positive, his father was feeling better. But he and his mother were suffering from fever, insomnia, and severe nausea. I, I haven't eaten more than probably 20 saltine crackers. <laughs> oh. But even then, the 25-year-old didn't expect he'd be hospitalized. Obviously, I'd like to, to avoid going in uh, as much as I, I possibly can because you yeah. know, I, I'm still fairly young. and. I want to sure. keep those beds open for, for uh, some older people. One day later, he was on his way to the ER. Friday morning, I walked upstairs to go take my temperature. And by the time I got upstairs, I was completely out of breath. I was uh, lightheaded and, and uh, had to go sit down. And it took me uh, you know, a couple minutes to just catch my breath. He says doctors at United Hospital in St. Paul discovered pneumonia and blood clots in his lungs. They brought the word ventilator up and that was, um, that was terrifying. Instead, doctors tried a variety of promising experimental treatments, including convalescent plasma, the drug remdesivir, and steroids. There was a point where I, I, didn't, I, I really didn't feel like uh, I was going to get any better or like I was getting any better. You know, I started taking the stuff and... Um, eventually, obviously, um, I'm starting to feel better. Unfortunately, Zach says his mom, Kathy, isn't. She's also hospitalized with fluid in her lungs and a cough that won't quit. I don't know, honestly, what's worse if I walk, you know, fighting it myself or watching, watching my mom fight it. It's, it's, both, it's both terrible, it's unpredictable, and uh, just you, you get, get very scared because the hospital here, they're still learning uh, more and more and more about it every day. Which is why he simply hopes everyone takes COVID seriously, no matter how young or healthy you are. I'm telling you, the nurses, the people on my floor here, they, you know, they're not all old people. They're not all unhealthy people. There's plenty of, of people that uh, are, are getting pretty sick from this that are, are just normal everyday people. And I think uh, it'd be nice for, uh, for more people to understand that. Now, there is some good news tonight. Zach just texted me in the last few minutes and said he was discharged and he has just arrived back home. Now, his mother, she is still in the hospital tonight. Now, he says they still don't know how they got it. In fact, he says with his job, they were very careful. Even though he didn't think he would have severe symptoms, he had to take it very seriously because in order to go to and from work, he said, really, it was several days before symptoms. He did make a trip to the grocery store. That's the only thing he's come up with at this point. Chris? Yeah, that's so interesting. And we should highlight that the dangers of COVID exponentially go up with your age. But still, these anomalies happen. Um, and it's just a sad story. But I understand that COVID hit his family before they even caught the disease. Yeah, in fact, uh, we do have... Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about, Chris, is there's a GoFundMe page now because of that extended battle that they've been that they've been dealing with. So they've got uh, approximately twenty six thousand dollars now uh, in a GoFundMe page because these experimental treatments that we talked about in this story, certainly with the price tag, they're worried about it, especially when you think about it hitting not only he but his parents. So uh, we're going to post that along with this story on care11.com. Okay. Ken Erdahl, appreciate you, man. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll get a lot of support. It's a very popular show. People love that show. Thank you, sir.